Today, we're going to take you through a day of our lives in Santorini to show you what it's like in the summer of 2021. We'll tour our hotel room, show you a can't-miss activity you need to try, and see if it's worth visiting this summer. I think the question on everybody's mind is, are tourists back in 2021 with everything going on in the world, many countries not being able to travel right now with you know, COVID variants? And from what I've seen so far, I would say it's probably like 70% full. He's gonna be my Instagram husband today. I think if there was ever a spot in the world for mass picture taking, probably here. You may be wondering, why does it seem like every house in Santorini is painted white? Reason isn't for Instagram photos. No, it's actually to keep the locals cool during the summer because it deflects the sun's rays very well. It makes it really magical and photogenic, and as you can imagine, very popular with people on honeymoons. Although right now, it's about 10 a.m. and feels like we have this whole portion of Thera to ourselves. This is big business in Santorini. Having a bar or restaurant facing out to the caldera for sunset, big business. Maybe one of the biggest businesses. I saw the forecast for my American viewers, a high of about 81 degrees today, and it feels so much hotter. The sun is beating down on you, very humid. And unfortunately, we're not getting much of a breeze at the moment, so staying in the shade very important in Santorini. This is literally the caricature for the look here in Santorini. Dad, mom, daughter. They all have the hat. Everybody has the hat. Melon, melon, for the salad of Santorini. Melon, melon. Thank you. I think that Santorini's recovering but it's nowhere near normal July levels, no way. Pork gyro has been our lunch of choice for the last week in Greece. Went to this spot called Yogi, it was rated pretty well. Let's try this. Mm. It's a really crunchy pita. One of the better gyros I've had, actually. Of course, we gotta give you guys a room tour. We booked the Arasana Hotel and Spa, and this is one of the best redemptions I've ever gotten from Hyatt. This is technically a World of Hyatt property, and we booked it for 25,000 points a night. Right now, this hotel is starting at well over $300 a night during the peak season. Booked it about two months ago, and we got upgraded. Jacuzzi suite. You can tell that the, uh, the vibe is obviously very romantic. I think that's the word for Santorini. Oh, that bed. Oh, that's so comfortable. I don't even want to leave my room, but there's more. Adriana and I have been married for two years and I keep telling her, this is the honeymoon we never had. We have the sunrise this way, and that right there will be a million dollar view from this jacuzzi. This is such a nice touch. They leave adapters in for you, just in case you forget yours. There's one activity every guidebook tells you to do when you come to Santorini, it's to ride a boat. And there's a lot of different price ranges. We're doing something really special, a semi-private yacht. It's going to be something really special. I'm so excited for this. Leave the flip-flops outside and uh, yeah, step, step over here. Can't tell you how much cooler it feels now that we're actually leaving the dock. How do you feel now? Much better. Uh, I have my guests. I never call my guest passengers or customers because I feel like I have my guests, my friends. I make, I meet new people every day, and that's what uh, what I love. That's why I teach my my guests how to steer a boat, even if they have never done it. Put the other one hand there, okay, and stand up to control the boat better. Stand up. Yes, always. And then we will, I will try to, I will check the waves, and I will turn inside. I want to show you something. How's my ability to steer? I'm curious. Uh, you, you are good. You you, good? you you know what you're doing. Yes. <laughs> Should I quit YouTube to become a captain or no? Oh my god, no. It's amazing what nature can, uh, can make. If you want to, you have this whole mat in the front of the boat. You can just lay out. Santa Irene in Italian. And they call the island Santa Irene. So the Greek, the people living here, they were Greeks. Why to call it with an Italian name? So they called it Santa Irene. 
Santori. Look at these colors here. This is what impresses me most about Greece, the water. How is it? Salty. Salty. <laughs> I told you so. You can see the fish so well. I really wish I could have shown you with a GoPro what it looked like, but it was really special. It's actually probably one of the highlights so far of our trip to Greece. The water is really refreshing. It's really easy to flow there because it's really salty. It's really fun. And here's here's the fish. It's so clear you can see it from up here. So dinner is included in this. As you can see, the uh, assistant cooked everything while we were just hanging out. We have baked codfish spaghetti with shrimp and he was saying the olive oil that we're having here he makes it himself near Athens. The wine is from uh, my city I bring uh, from the family I bring from uh, home. The olive oil is uh, it's uh, what I do in the winter time after I finish with uh, the boat. Bread, olive oil, salt, same time. Try it. Mm. It tastes so homemade. They call this a sunset cruise for a reason. It would be difficult to find a better way to spend five hours in Santorini. That tour is absolutely incredible. Food, drinks included. Check the link down below in the description. Book the tour with George, trust me. I'm getting some Times Square vibes here in Ia, which is the most famous place for sunset in pretty much all of Greece, I would say. So we're gonna find out if there are tourists in Santorini. Clearly there are, and they've all decided to come out tonight, and only tonight to see this. If this is less than normal, I don't think I'd want to be here during the peak July season. It was getting a little congested back there, but from the pictures I've seen, that was nothing. <laughs> this is it, it's coming down. You know, ever since I came to Greece, a funny thing has happened. People will randomly talk to me in Greek. I mean, maybe I've got some long lost Greek heritage that I never knew about. And then I open my mouth and it's like game over. They know I'm not Greek. I saw a guy holding a few beers and I thought, this is the smartest man in Greece. I ran and bought a few for our little sunset picnic. I don't think you ever get tired of seeing the sunset. So if you can try to see it everywhere, that would be awesome and this is beautiful. Is it touristy? Yes, it's a very touristy place, but it has a reputation. If you're into the photos, you're gonna be spending a premium, but it's definitely gonna be a memorable experience. Do make sure to check on any travel restrictions. This summer, things can change pretty fast due to COVID. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out every spot that we went to in the description. Thank you so much for watching as always. Till next time.